Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today's episode number 15. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, test one, two, one, two. I think we're good. Uh, we're taking part in the Class D Asian Championship today. Starting off with uh, Sakuba Circuit Short, Maple Valley Raceway, and finishing off with Suzuka Circuit East. Very excited for this one. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Sakuba Short Circuit. It's love. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Not bad. Good start so far. That uh, FTO is a little bit quicker than us, actually. I know it's uh, 11 performance points higher up. So technically speaking, this should be a little more of a challenge. I've just noticed as well, we're doing nine laps around here. What is love? Is this potentially the first championship we might actually do where it's only one in an episode? Who knows? We'll see. What is love? Oh, actually, I got to schedule some of the um, other Motorsport 2 videos. They're all edited and ready to go up to episode 12, I believe. But I've only got up to episode 5 actually on YouTube, public. And episode 4 schedules tomorrow, episode 5 schedules the day after to be premiered. So, should probably get on and schedule the others ready for their premieres. Because otherwise, we might miss a day. I really don't want to miss a day. No more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't hurt me. No more. Whoa. What a tune. Right, that is... Uh, three laps done. Moving on to lap number four now. No more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. This is... This song is pretty much going down in history as one of the all-time greats. This 
this one isn't, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a tune, but it's not an all-time great. Not bad. Go around that hairpin corner at the end there. <laughs> what is fuel efficiency? Baby, don't dry me. Don't dry me no more. <laughs> fuel makes me move like a freak, Mr. Saxo B. What a tune. <laughs> Little bit wide there. <laughs> I think I've gotten to that point where I'm like not that I'm not scared of a DMCA strike because if I if someone DMCA's well obviously that requires a human being to actually do that if someone was to DMCA my content I would take action upon that and would start caring about the music that I put in but at this point I'm like I'm just going to enjoy the streams Put the music in and, you know. Technically speaking, I know I have justification to use the music anyways. Under, like, the Fair Use Act. So. It's been modified enough by having car sounds played over it. So, technically speaking, we should be fine. Bring me down. It makes me move like a freak. Bad. Right, we got one more lap to go and then we're done. I'm actually kind of surprised how much the uh, grid is actually spread out in this game. Why have I shifted up there? Do 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 do. Yeah, that's why I'm not not scared of the getting a DMCA because I know. That because it's accompanying what I'm doing, it should be fine. YouTube is the only place where they're like, we don't care about fair use, we'll just claim it anyways. So that's why I have to avoid it. But, you know. Oh, we got clutch upgrade discounts. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Race number two. I will create stationary sound. <laughs> Imagine if you could invent stationary sound. Is that what white noise is? Just stationary noise. Well, no. Techni technically, the RX-7's... <laughs> That's a stationary sound. That's one of the most beautiful stationary sounds, though. Let's be honest. Rotary engines all the way. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm going to see if there's rotary cars in uh, Horizon 5. 
because I might put some uh, rotary engines as part of next week's cruise. Hey, well, that's awesome. Uh, which ones are there, Hans? Do you know which ones? Yeah, these races are starting to get a little longer now. But still, time-wise, they're nowhere near. So the RX-7 and the RX-8 is in there. That's fine. Honestly, the RX-7 is one of those cars that I think... If there was a Hall of Fame of cars, the RX-7 is in there. The RX-8 is in the Hall of Fame of cars that look like a dog has vomited on them. I'll be honest, I don't like the look of the RX-8. The RX-7, on the other hand... Oh, beautiful car. I'm just hoping that there's a um, RX-7 thing in this game so that I can take the RX-7. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. So, I more than likely would probably just make it that you could only take an RX-7 or an RX-8. For that stint. Straight piped and had a wide body kit. <laughs> that sort of reminds me when um one of my mates um straight piped an MG and holy fuck it sounds amazing. Surprisingly, for like with the reputation that MG cars get, like I've I've always been a fairly solid hater of MG cars just because of the bad rep that they always get. But this MG was actually pretty neato. And, um... It was pretty cool. Is this that... I don't even know if it... I think it's that TikTok one. 323 GTR from 92 is road to real inline. Well, I think Mazda's the only... I, I don't know a GTR that Mazda ever did. It is that TikTok song, yep. Yeah. I love that as soon as I hear a song that I've seen on TikTok a lot, I'll just be like, oh, yeah, it's that TikTok song. <laughs> Even if the song came out 20, 30 years ago, I'll just be like, oh, it's that TikTok song. Yeah, fair enough. The Spirit R is the nice... Oh, oh my god, how did I fuck that one up so bad? Oh my god, the FTO just crashed into me. <laughs> I definitely didn't swerve in front of it. It just understeered and it didn't like go round. 
That's the downside of having front wheel drive cars. I think I've managed to uh, salvage this one. Come on, come on, come on. We got two laps to do. Oh, this thing's been absolutely battered. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Out it. Banana banana bum bum bum. 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 Banana banana I got you somehow, um, over the next... I need to find a, um, Honda NSX from 92 in Gran Turismo 7 to finish off that final bonus menu. Yo, Jovial! Uh, do exclamation mark tip and then you'll be able to use the media share. Want ya? You know you want me. You know I want ya. I know you want me, you know I want ya. One, two, three, four, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> Watch you. Uh, I don't know, Fallen. Just wait until you see someone who... Ah, hands. Give it to hands. <laughs> I didn't realize hands hasn't got VIP yet, so... Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Not bad. Just about salvaged that one. Alright, here we go. Race number three. <laughs> Unbelievable. Poor Fallen. Busy, just enjoy the party. Stabbing each other as a greeting. Yeah, if both of you don't end up in A&E, then it's not a true friendship. <laughs> uh, I learned that from one British friend. Hmm. Uh. I don't... <laughs> sure, maybe? I don't know if that's a good practice, but sure. On with you. Hello. Uh, uh, oh. I love this song so much. I haven't heard it in like two years since like BT had it on every single advert. <laughs> the party. That's a lot of watch time, Fallen. 437 hours. Mental. Alright, but I'm here, darling, to enjoy the party. On my way to 500 hours. Let's go! Party. You're alright, but I'm here, darling, to enjoy the party. to 2011. I'm not even surfing those songs. It's just, I played a dance song from 2008. Um, I don't know if you've heard it. It's called Infinity. Um... So take your time to trust in me. That song. Um, yeah, that's that's going to clear it up so much. Um, but yeah, no, I was listening to that song and it's just started shuffling some songs from that era. And it's really, really fucking good. <laughs> hey. I haven't listened to uh, Martin Solveig for a while, though. <laughs> 16 hours. Pretty mad. Pretty mad, if I do say so myself. Hey. Hey. Listen. Oh, wow. Damn, who's a sexy bitch? 
I'm speed running stream watching. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> I think Han's already thanked you by tickling you. <laughs> the baddest thing around now. <laughs> like you girls you've ever seen before. Okay. Compared to your neighborhood whore. <laughs> Disrespectful. Damn, no. Damn, she's a sexy bitch. <laughs> Thank you for the VIP. <laughs> I'm very impressive primate now. <laughs> uh, I got an itch in my eye. Oh, uh. <laughs> See, one thing I have noticed with this game, so it seems like when you look at the actual race timer and everything like that, like that's genuinely timed normally, but for some reason... When it comes to, like, your split times... Um... Or, like, penalty times and stuff like that... It always seems to be divisible by the frame rate of the game. Which, being 60 FPS... It's always, like... You know, divisible by... That number? I don't know. I've seen it multiple times... So I, I genuinely think the timers in this game are just based around the frame rate, which isn't uncommon. But I know a lot of modern simulation games don't do that anymore. So it, it, it surprises me, but doesn't surprise me at the same time. Damn, who's a sexy bitch? Who's a sexy bitch? Damn, girl. I don't know why, I'm, I'm pretty sure this song was in Test Drive Unlimited 2. Or a song similar to it. I don't know what this song is. Unlock the 120 FPS then. Yes, because I can totally unlock 120 FPS on an Xbox 360. A console that didn't even support 120 FPS. <laughs> I would love to try. By the way, if anyone has managed to do that, please let me know, because I'd be more than happy to try it. Actually, I've seen... Um, what is it? I think it's Velocity or something. I can't remember what the um, Xbox 360 emulator is for PC. But uh, apparently, Forza Motorsport 4 does not run on it, which is the sole reason why I didn't go down the emulation route for the older games. Um, so I am just running this on native hardware. Hey, not bad. Right. Cross the finish line. Woohoo! And there we go. I will take my rewards. Thank you. We're going to see what we got for that. And then I'm going to get a drink and then we'll carry on. Not bad. We got the Mines Skyline for that. R34 GTR. Ooh, lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is... All right, so... Uh, are we still recording? Yes, we are. Okay, uh, I have no clue what happened to my touch portal, but it did something weird. Uh, we're going to take part in the Dutch C-Class Championship, starting off with Silverstone International, moving on to Sunset Peninsula Infield, the big version, and then Miguelo Autodromo Internacionale Short.
Let's get going. All right, here we go. Silverstone in the R32 VW. Not the R32 Skyline. That's a different thing. This thing, wow. Okay. So we've added quite a bit of performance. We've uh, done a engine swap. Uh, swapped it to a different, slightly more powerful engine. So it's got a further red line, actually. This is more 7,000 RPM. I think the one before was like six and a half. So it's not too much, but the red line has moved. Um, and also it's obviously all wheel drive as well. Bim, 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 bim. <laughs> what a tune. There are so many memes with this song in them. Like, there are so many meme videos of, like, absolutely drugged up people just dancing around in a rave, and they just put this music in the background. Bam, 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 Do you know the one thing I do miss about the reworked Silverstone is the fact I, I'm not 100% sure if the old Silverstone route still exists. I know this international route does not exist at all anymore. Because that road in the middle was replaced when they um put the GP route in. Because now... Obviously, where the road goes now, down this way, um, it actually now has that. I think the run up here was pretty much majority the same, but um, it goes across into that field a little more now. Oh wait, Silverstone looks extremely empty. A weirdly empty track in the older layouts. Even when I went to Silverstone and they were still running the older layouts. Didn't seem this empty. Oh, I, I, honestly, I would love to see Silverstone again. Because uh, one thing they used to do, I don't know if they still do it now. I've been to Silverstone, I believe, four times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we've been for a... We've been for a Friday event. I'm not sure if it was the Formula One practices and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure. I want to say it was, but I don't want to say it was Formula One practice. But I know we've been on a Friday before to Silverstone. And they were doing stuff and they had Formula One cars there. It wasn't all Formula One cars though. Um, anyways, they had that going on. I've been, I think, two or three times and they've had Renault days. So they take, basically Renault just like hires out the track for the day and just does Renault themed events. Really cool. They obviously have their Renault Championship that goes on. It's really cool. <laughs> I've also been to Donington Raceway as well, which I think Donington was probably the more enjoyable because we went and saw British Touring Car. We saw Touring Car. And that was fun. And we also saw uh, GT3 cars as well. I think next year I might... Um, if work plans plans out. I might... 
see if I can go to another British touring car event. Because in all honesty, I really enjoyed it. Do, 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 do. Now, Not too bad. Freestyler. Not bad. Oh, that's our first race done. And for some reason, my continue button... Uh, oh, never mind. None of my buttons are working. Cheers, Xbox. All right, here we go. Uh, a quick restart of the controller later. And we are back up and running. <laughs> Boop. There's a huge variety of um, events in, uh, not events, songs. We got songs from the 90s going on, songs from the 2000s, 2010. There's all sorts. Proper tunes. Which, by the way, for anyone on YouTube who hasn't seen these streams live, you 100% should join. It is a blast. Do, 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 do. Oh, what a slide. Except for the fact I was in the wrong gear. <laughs> do you think you're better off alone? This is why I'm, I'm going to have a hot take here. But uh, I genuinely don't think David Guetta is that talented of a DJ. Because a lot of his stuff has been copied. And just straight up just nothing changed when he's made it. Like, this song is, um... This entire song was basically copied for one of his. I can't remember. I think it had, um... Neo in it. If I'm not mistaken. Work hard. That was it. Work hard. Play hard. Work hard. Play hard. We work hard. But it was straight up just this entire tune copied. And I'm very surprised. In fact, it might be worth Googling if you got a lawsuit for it. Because I wouldn't be surprised. Because... Pretty much everything in that song was copy and paste. That's... They literally just put boards up there <laughs> to block off that road. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I think this is the first race we've actually done on the full infield track. Not just the infield short. Yeah, I genuinely think this is actually going to be just conjoined to the last episode. So, this will still probably be episode 15. Talk to me. 
Ooh, talk to me. Talk to me. Ooh, talk to me. <laughs> I realize as well, YouTube doesn't hear the music. So it's actually probably going to be quite funny <laughs> going over this because I'm going to be editing this and all I'm going to hear is. <laughs> Oh, I did it. Flat out. Very nice. Oh, not bad. There we go. There we go. We got 12 grand. Woo! We got some more reputation for the golf as well. All right, here we go. Magello circuit. I love Magello. It's, it's, it's my second favorite track, but it's slowly grown into my favorite. The more that I drive it compared to Suzuka, the more I realize that I really, really love this track. I don't even understand why I love it. I, th I think it's just a cool track. More people just want more and more. I think it's got a cool hairpin corner, which if you're in the slidey mood, drifting around, it's got some, again, some right angle corners. It's, it's good for drifting. You could quite easily get some good slides going around here. It's good for racing. Because it's got some nice flowing corners. It's like mandatory to sing along to this song. I can't wait to head into that section of Magello though. And go around the full track. I think we do that for one of the endurance races. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the S-Class one as well. I'm not 100% sure. I did go and look ahead. But I cannot remember for the life of me. But I think it's S-Class. Which is going to be really cool. Because we can take some of those S-Class cars that I absolutely love. Um, which, by the way, there's also an S-Class event around the whole of Magello. On Motorsport 4. The only reason I remember is because I have a vivid memory of driving around Mugello in a bright red LaFerrari on Motorsport 4. And I'm hoping I can have a moment like that for the endurance event. Actually, the endurances might be a bit more challenging in this game because of the fact that there's different life lengths for each set of tyres in this game. So we might actually have a little bit of a problem with that if that ever comes to bite us in the back. Na 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 Banana na 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 
I'm pretty sure they got rid of the um, 3D version of the damage model here for Motorsport 3, because I think they replaced it with just the telemetry option. Actually, do they have telemetry in this game? That's a good shout. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot they had telemetry in this as well. They've got all the body acceleration. Tires. Oh my god, there's more detail to this game than even I realised. And then there's your damage. I got 7% and 6% tire wear. Lovely. How have I dropped 1700 frames on Twitch? Not ideal. Hoping it didn't drop frames on my recording then. Is this the original Pump It Up? It is. I was like, I swear Pump It Up didn't... S you know when Pump It Up got famous on TikTok? I was like, this doesn't sound like the original Pump It Up. And I could never find the original Pump It Up. I will admit, this version is much better than the other one. The one that went TikTok famous. This is weird. We're vibing to, like, all these tracks. <laughs> oh... See, now I give Aaron permission to call me old. But guess what? Aaron's not here, so sucks to be you, mate. <laughs> Don't you know, bump it up. Tires are actually cooler than the front ones by the looks of it. Very strange. There we go, not bad. Good race there. Five minutes forty, we got twelve grand, nearly level twenty-four. Let's see what we got. Pump it up. We got the two thousand three Opal number five and sixteen grand extra as well. Bump it up! Bump it up! Not bad. Oh, I really like the look of this, actually. That's quite cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>